hello guys I am here that's weird I don't say hello guys that was awkward uh, let's restart hey guys so I am here today to share with you a Sephora haul and this is a collective haul I actually three different three different times <sighs> there's a story behind it not sure it's interesting but three times happened so we're just gonna get into it the first product I got, which is actually the last product I got, is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Now I've heard some really great stuff about this stuff from the blogging community and I've been looking for something that works better at taking my makeup off. I have stuff that takes it off but it's kind of like a struggle and I have to work really hard at it so I thought that this would work really well because people rave about this all the time so beauty blogging definitely made me buy this one another blog driven purchase is the Stila one step correct like face primer I tried the Alme version of this it looks almost identical and completely hated it I was hoping that it would be good enough that I was like I don't need to try the Stila one this one's perfect but it actually was awful it was downright terrible so I thought that I was like I should try this one I know it's really good gonna give it a go and I love it I've tried it a few times already and it's really really good definitely worth the purchase and I'm excited to do like a comparison thing on my blog so stay tuned for that and I do a lot of stuff on my blog I feel like I've mentioned it a lot but I actually talk a lot on my blog since I daily blog but uh, all this stuff is gonna be on the blog I'll be reviewing it in full once I finally like develop my full thoughts on things and you'll see all that stuff there that's definitely the place to go find me because I my videos are like sporadic but my blog is consistent so this stuff is really 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 good and it actually might beat out my benefit back out brightening face primer which I've been talking about for as long as I've been talking about beauty I've had this channel for a while but I've only recently started talking about beauty like in the last year or so and since then it's been nothing but the benefit back out primer until this guy so it's just that good and I'm gonna stop talking about it because I've ranted probably for a good like minute and a half about this stuff so the next product is something I've already purchased so this is a repurchase and it is the NARS radiant creamy concealer and I am in the shade vanilla and this is my go-to concealer I've tried others that are like good but this is it this is the one for me and I'm at that point where I'm not exactly running out of the other one but I'm like getting to the point where you're running out and I just don't want to be a day without it and I was already purchasing everything else and you had to spend like $50 for free shipping so I was like might as well because I'm gonna buy it eventually so I picked that up since I was purchasing things online I went to their like weekly deals specials page and usually you can find like a code or something for like a free gift one time I got like a makeup bag and you get like larger samples of beauty products so I got the bare minerals um, original foundation in fairly light and it came with this little brush and it's just a little sample of it I've tried mineral foundations before but they haven't really been like a huge success for me and I haven't definitely converted to them but I thought I'd give this a go and it was free so that's always nice and I couldn't resist picking up another Urban Decay Revolution lipstick this one is in the shade Rush and it is totally a my lips but better color it is wonderful I have it on my lips today you can't really tell because it's the point of a my lips but better lip gloss lipstick thing what am I saying I don't know but I'm in love with it it is glorious and the other um, Urban Decay Revolution lipstick I have is very dark it's definitely more on the plum purple side of things but what is it called Rapture and I really like it because it's out of my comfort zone but I kind of have to like dab it on and then have a sheer application of it but this I can just slather on not like grossly but like I can put it on my lips like the normal way you put on lipstick and so I really got to experience like the way that the revolution lipsticks feel because everyone's always saying how great they are and how smooth they are and I haven't really gotten to have that experience until this guy love it worried about my bank account because I'm probably going to be buying a lot of these. So the next thing I got I've wanted for a really long time and I've constantly been looking at shades and trying to figure out which one I want because they all look so beautiful but I finally decided on the Tarte and Amazonian Clay Blush in Peaceful and this one actually you couldn't find 
in the two stores that are somewhat close to me I had to buy it online and it is just the best peach shade ever it's so beautiful has little glitter in it but it's not like overpowering I have it on my cheeks today and it like stays for a really long time like if this is as long as blush is supposed to say everybody else isn't doing it right because this stuff lasts forever and I'm worried that this is another thing that I'm gonna become like really addicted to and spend all of my money on because it's just beautiful it's these are just amazing I then used some of my VIB points to buy some perks so VIB points I don't even know if that's the name of it but the, it is a program through Sephora that every dollar you spend is worth a point and when you get 100 points you can redeem them for perks and items that like switch out a lot so the two that I wanted I could only find online so I had to make the third Sephora purchase that's why there's three of them because um, I couldn't find them in the stores that were near me so the two things I got are the NARS lip gloss in the shade orgasm and when I saw that it was NARS I didn't care what it was I don't care it could have been just a regular old pencil that you write on paper with I probably would have spent my perks on it so this is a really pretty like pink glittery um, lip gloss and I haven't tried it yet so I'm curious to see how I like it because I'm really picky when it comes to lip glosses if I even like them I usually don't like them so we'll see how this turns out and the other thing that I spent my perk points on is the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer and I got the shade nude which I think will be perfect for me because paley over here I've wanted to try this for a really long time but just couldn't justify spending that much money so I was really excited to be able to get this like really large sample size of it so I can test it out and find out if I actually really like it and then I can buy the full size purchase like I said I made three Sephora purchases two of which were online so I got a lot of samples so I got two of the uh, NARS tinted moisturizer in the shade St. Moritz St. Moritz I don't know it's a medium one so I got these knowing that they're not actually the shade that I had in the tinted moisturizer but I'm curious to see if I mix these with those if it becomes like a closer one to my skin tone or if I was just really wrong with what I picked and these are actually my skin tone I don't know but I wanted to give them a go and see if I was in the right place or something I always feel like I picked the wrong shades I don't know I feel like other people feel that way too so I'm not alone but I got these I also got two little packets of the uh, first aid beauty skin rescue purifying mask I decided to get two because when I start trying products like in these little packets there's never enough so I thought that if I got two of them because I did them in two different purchases not like it matters okay but I got two of them because I thought that'd give me enough product to be able to really tell if I liked them I also got a little packet of the fresh black tea age delay eye concentrate always looking for new eye creams and things to try so I'm excited to try this and the last sample I got was the Smashbox full exposure eyeshadow sample I don't really like these I don't like trying to like rub my finger and get the product because it doesn't really show you exactly how they're like but I'm hoping that this at least gives me a sense of what the palette's like so if I really want to get it then I know what it's like before I get it and that's the point of a sample I keep explaining that so that is it that is my Sephora haul I went a little crazy usually I keep it pretty small but this time I was like buy all the things I'm really excited that this weekend I'm going to Toronto with Alex and I'm actually gonna meet Essie Button I am taking the four-hour trip across the border to see her and I'm really excited because I haven't been to Toronto in ages and Alex has never been so we're gonna spend the weekend there and I get to meet Essie Button and I'm trying not to fangirl like do you ever have that problem of like knowing that they're just like a regular person and like she always talks about her pajamas so like I I know she's like a chill kind of person but like when you see them you're like oh my god that's gonna be me I'm gonna be OMG but I'm gonna be vlogging so you can come along with me and see me fangirl I'm sure I'll have Alex hold the camera while I'm like oh my god it's that simple and he'll probably have to like push me toward her because I I like want to meet these people but then when I have the opportunity like I almost could meet Charles Trippy because I went to the We The Kings concert but then I didn't want to meet him like I was like this is close enough he's about a hundred yards away I am good so I'm probably gonna have to like force myself to meet Etsy I'm rambling thank you so much for watching this haul as always I appreciate you guys and if you have any recommendations or requests leave them in the comments below or just say hi 
because that's what I like to see. And I'm going to go. So I will talk to you later, guys. Bye.